If you've watched my channel before, then you probably know that I enjoy flying drones, and I think it's a lot of fun. And you get a really neat perspective from 200 feet up in the air. Um, if you've watched my channel before, then you'll know that I fly the uh, GoPro Karma drone, and uh, I enjoy it. I mean, the GoPro camera gets really, really nice footage. You can shoot 4K, um, although I usually don't. I usually go 1080p, but uh, it's just really nice. It's big. It's stable. I've had it up in high winds, and it just sits there like a rock. So I really like it, but it is big. So. I went out and got something to test. I picked up the DJI Spark. I mean, look at the size of this thing, it's tiny. Um, and uh, I mean, it gets a decent flight time. It doesn't get the flight time that the uh, Karma gets. Uh, about a five minute difference. But uh, I like it, it's, it's very, small I can stick it you know in my camera bag and stick it in a suitcase you know some of my pants I could even stick it them in my pocket and uh, it's really really fun to fly uh, you can fly it with your phone you can fly it with the uh, spark controller or you can even fly it using hand gestures you don't even need a controller this is the case that the spark comes in. Compare that. Oh. Can't lift the thing anymore. Oh. Compare that to the case of the, for the Karma. And compare the compare the DJI Spark case to the Karma case. And the, which one would you want to carry around with you? So, I mean, I love the Karma. You know, if I'm doing a project, you know, a big project, I, I really love the Karma, but, you know, if I'm gonna go somewhere or travel and I just wanna take a drone with me to, you know, shoot some photos or some video and just have some fun, I'm gonna take the Spark.
then the Spark has some really nice uh, intelligent flight modes. It's got uh, you know the circle me where uh, it'll circle around you, circle around a subject, and stay on that subject. Um, it's got a helix feature where it'll start low, circle around the subject, and then slowly get higher and higher. Um, it's got a, uh, a rocket mode where it'll just take off you know, straight up, keeping pointing straight down at you. So, interesting. And of course it's got the, uh, the, the selfie mode where it flies up and away from you. Um, and it's got a really nice feature, uh, active tracking, where you can select a subject and it'll stay on that subject and follow it. Um, it's really good, you know, if you're riding a bike or riding a motorcycle, um, if you want to, you know, follow a subject and uh, not really have to worry about the controls. You just define the subject on the screen and it stays right on the subject. One thing I like about the Spark as opposed to the GoPro, the GoPro comes with a controller with a built-in screen and I mean, you're, you're stuck to that screen. That's, that's what you can use. Um, with the Spark, since it uses a, a separate device for the screen, I can use virtually any kind of screen that I want. Uh, you can use your phone. Um, I use an iPad too. Uh, I like the nice big screen. Uh, I'm an old man. It's easier for me to see bigger thing, bigger screens. I'm really enjoying the Spark. Plan to see a lot more footage from the Spark in the future.